Hello everybody, I am the Cold One. Welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Where last time we talked to this boy, and now we're off to uh, go to a, an abandoned mine, I think? Yeah, an abandoned mine. That uh, sure. Are all episodes going to start with me having no idea where the fuck I'm going? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this must be the way. Ooh, a plant monster here. I hope this one's stronger. Maybe you give me some actual experience? Let's check it. Come on, give me some experience. A uh, chupa. That's not a chupacabra. A chupacabra is like a. has like legs and fur and shit. And it's a goat sucker. This is not what a chupacabra looks like. It's not some plant creature. Ow. Uh, why? Why'd you both hit a cell? It's not fair. Uh, fucking the cell. Just had the miss, huh? Cool, good job, good, good job, Josh. You dodged the attack. Oh man, I'm pretty far away. Oh, a royal leaf. Ooh, I don't know what that does. Probably nothing. It's a brain. Attack the brain. Where's Pinky Brain? The Pinky and the Brain. Is that a roly poly? What the fuck? How the fuck is that a roly poly? Shit. Ah. Yeah, die, motherfucker. It was very quick. It was a very quick bite. Yay, we reached the mine. Oh, what the hell? Uh, Ravenly Mine. Why would they just leave the sign there? Why not, you know, move it? Oh, there's a lock on it. What the f Well, you got got a daggers just cut it open like green did in cold steel or you know bashed it open and stuff now let's check it out Right, Estelle, it's rather subtle, but there's an air flowing. There's air flowing out of here. Just like I thought, huh? Sometimes your senses can be surprisingly sharp. You know that? I wonder if you can get that from I wonder if you get that from your father. My dad doesn't have anything to do with it. But forget about that. Aren't we more interested in what's inside this old mine? I am. It's probably ghosts. There might be some ghosts in there. There's certainly a possibility that it's connected to somehow. It's probably worth checking out. Well, in that case, let's bust this lock up. <laughs> hey, don't you even think about doing that? For now, we better head back to the village and talk to the other one. What? No! Let's just... Yeah, Sherry, you're no fun. Let's just fucking bust it open. It's an old mine. Who gives a crap if we break in? Damn. Make me backtrack. What the fuck? Alright, old man. Please give me the key so I can fucking explore the mines. Unlike the incompetent buffoons like the, the military are who didn't fucking explore it. Oh, here comes depression. I don't want depression. Alright, where you at, old man? Oh, it's great. So this is where you're, you are, Elder Resson. Oh, it's you, young bracers, is it? That's well, an extravagant grave for a small village like this, isn't it? It was erected to mourn all of those souls we lost ten years ago. Since the Boast region is nearest to the Empire, we're in the thick of the fray. And this village lost a good number of good people in the house. Utilities. That's terrible. <laughs> There's no need for you to get somber too, though. These days, cleaning them a monument is just one of my daily routines. But I guess you wouldn't have to come up here if you didn't think there was something I could help you with, right? Oh, right. There's something I want to talk to you about. But before that, would you mind if we paid our respects as well? I know we don't have any flowers to give, but we'd, we'd at least like to offer a prayer. Oh, I see. No, of course, I don't mind. I'm sure all those looking down from above would be overjoyed by the gesture. So you say there might be some clues in the old mine, huh? I know for certain that the soldiers didn't check it out inside because they're fucking morons. After I heard Louis' story, it really got me thinking. Well, we'd like to we'd like to check the place out just in case. So would you mind lending us the key to the entrance? The key to the padlock, huh? Give me a minute here. 
Let's see, where did I hold it? Where did I put that thing? Nope, this is the dildo drawer. Wrong drawer. Oh, nope, this is the wrong drawer too. Ah, here it is. Okay, so this should get you inside. Wow, this key looks ancient. Many thanks, Elder Grayson. <laughs> this will really help a lot. Go on with Vetchy. We're always indebted to the Bracer Guild for the help. It's only only natural that we would try to return the favor. Thank you for everything, everyone. Thank you if ever, any, uh, thank you if everyone we dealt with were as cooperative as you. It would make our lives a lot easier. We'll be sure to let you know if we find anything. I would appreciate that. Yes, we appreciate it much. Almost as much as the porn that's in my drawer my wife does not know about. Off we go. Now I got the padlock, we can do this the boring way. Let's use the key we borrowed from the other village elder. Use the abandoned key mine. Whew, that was one heavy gate. Let's have a look inside, shall we? I don't know about Skyman, but I can definitely sense monsters in here. Everyone stay alert. Yeah, no, we're just gonna shack off or whatever the fuck while we're in this old abandoned mine that can collapse at any moment, probably. Oh. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. I should have healed before I came here. Ah, then we can get all magics. Let's heal us now. Or Joshua. There we go. Oh damn, so close. Okay, uh, yeah, just, just, just finish it off. There you go. Good job, Josh. Oh damn, only six damage with a physical hit? Yeah, we gotta use magic on these or we're fucked. Uh, let's just smack it real quick. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Yeah, we do. More carapaces. Fuck you, grab, I'm gonna kill you this time. You won't get shot with me, asshole. That's <laughs> some wild ass sound effects. That one's dead. Ow. Ow. Yeah, she definitely has the strongest magic pack of this group right now. Woo. Oh, broken bridge, damn it. Oh shit, no, I won't. I guess I should fight you just in case. Uh, probably need money or experience. Fuck me. That's a mess. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh, okay. Ow. Alright. Finish it off, Joshua. You useless son of a bitch. Okay, uh, yeah, use this. What? Zero. Oh, what the hell? It's just gonna miss and do no damage like that. What the hell? Can we get some? Oh, well, all right. Man, it's bright in here. Huh? Isn't that the quiet cell? Looks like we've hit the jackpot. Oh, I already found the uh, sky pirates. It's the Kapua gang, right? Kapua? Kapuia. Kapuia. Clear out the heavy things and focus on the food provisions and invaluables. Hurry it up, well yeah, it's only a matter of time before someone finds this place. Sir, yes, sir! What's an airliner doing in a place like this? I guess that kid that wasn't seeing things after all. Looks like the area that used to be it looks like the area that used to be used for strip mining. It certainly turned out to be a great place to hide something of this size. Yeah, who would have who would have thought to look here? Look at these, look at that. Aren't they on aren't they? Are they loading the airliner cargo in their own ship? Let's worry about that later. We've got to figure out a way to bag these guys before they run them get away. So this is our third trip, huh? Man, don't Don can be a real slave driver sometime. Oh well, once this is all taken care of, we'll be able to sit back and negotiate a nice fat ransom. Hold it right there. Who in the 
The scorching flame of justice shall never fade away as long as the evil, evil thrives in this world. The League of Extraordinary Bracers has arrived! What? Huh? The League of what? You bonehead, why do you always have to get carried away like this? What's with you two? Now, now I look like a fool, a big fool saying that stuff alone. Here, <laughs> the one Joe Zed running with the back and rolling. This can't be right, you're not supposed to be here this early. You can't be right, we're not supposed to be here this early. What the heck are you talking about? In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Club, you are hereby under arrest, press arrest and charged with hijacking with airline and its passengers. Hope for your sakes you'll come around quietly. Now hold on just a minute. Are you trying to tell me that only three of you came here to arrest us? You see anything else, bandit boy? So you're not involved with the others then, huh? So that's simple I see. Let's get them, boys. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. I haven't saved in a while. Cool, let's see. Ow! Oh, well, that's wrong, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, get him! Ow! Oh, I didn't do any shit. Ow. Ow. Oh, they poisoned me! What a bunch of bitches! Oh, that's me up there. Ah! Yeah. Uh, oh, I missed stuff. Alright. Alright, let's get down. That's just you, boy. Ow, why did you hit a spell? Probably because she's poisoned, huh? Damn, what the hell? Alright, let's do some arts. Arts for the win! Haha! <laughs> An archful victory! Damn, they didn't level up from that. Oh, jeez, we got 30 red stuff from that? Wow, you got the tougher than I thought. It's no wonder Joe Sad got beat by you three. Sweet talk won't get you anywhere, buddy. It's time to surround and let the passengers go. <laughs> you really don't know anything, do you? What was it you called yourself? League of Extraordinarily... League of the Ex Exceptionally Dim or something? You're making fun of my awesome team name. You're dead. Look out! Ah, uh, shit, it's a flashbang. Oh, it's smoke grenade. What? What is this? You gotta be kidding me. Another smoke screen? <laughs> it's too bad for the rest of the cargo, but we'll just have to live without it. Later, bracers. Oh shit! They just they just outsmarted us, huh? We certainly are exceptionally dim. <coughs> ow! 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 Someone got my eyes. Don't worry, it's not poisonous. It's, it just looks like a typical smoke canister. This, their ship is already out of sight. This is getting really old. It's not once, but twice now that now that they've gotten away. If I get demoted for all this guild, for this at the guild, there's not much I can say in my defense. Oh, Shara, quit acting like it was all your fault. We're responsible for letting them get away too. If you've got time to kick ourselves over this, then there's got to be some other constructive things we can do. Well, well, looks you sound like you should be a, the senior brace. Well, at least we're able to talk back, take back the airliner. So how about we have a look? The passengers may be inside. Right! There's no one inside, is there? Alright. Airliner Lindy. <gasps> Lindy? Like the character from Cold Steel? Wow, it's pretty barren here. It's not a piece of cargo left. Evidently, the Sky Bandits managed to make off with all. With it all. At least just by the looks of things. At any rate, we should do a thorough investigation of the place. A forklift? It's a list car. It looks like the same type as the those in the landing port. The sky man has probably used it to move the cargo. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find anything. If we did, then you know, we'd probably bring the game to a very early close. Looks like this is the captain's seat. If there were any other circumstances, I would love to sit here. Don't even don't even think about it. The navigator seat. The pilot. These are the navigators. 
Um, just like first class. It's right here, there's a lot of shining. There's, there's a lot of light shining into this place. Yeah, I don't see shit. There's no passengers in here. Oh, yeah, all the passengers are gone. Yeah, it's pretty bare. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Huh? Oh, yep, just gotta keep back on the other side. Checked it over, but it looks like there's no one inside. There is a high possibility the transfers, the pirate passengers, were transferred to the Sky Bandit's airship, and then to whatever their hideout is, wherever their hideout is. Agreed. But well, this sucks, right? When we thought we we had some clues, we were back to zero. Come on, cheer up already. It's not like every clue has completely vanished. Why don't you think? The Sky Bandits. Why do you think the Sky Bandits hit the airline on a place like this? Huh? As far as I can tell, the orbital energy in the ship has completely stopped, which means the orbital engine was stripped from the managed aircraft. I know this because the orbital energy in the or orbment gradually recharges over time. Furthermore, the Sky Bandits made multiple trips to carry off a large amount of cargo. cargo. Considering this, the time and the risk involved, don't you think it would have been more effective just to take the entire airline to the hideout? Yeah, it does make a little odd. It doesn't seem a little odd that they didn't. So why'd they hide the airliner here then? Um, all I can think of is that they did it in order to... Uh, I have no idea. That's what I thought. Yes, that's exactly right. From my, from, my, from my guess, I would imagine that their hideout is in a slightly peculiar place, maybe 10 to 15 yards in size. In short, a peculiar place in which only a small aircraft like the Sky Bandits airship could land. Interesting. How about a terrain covered with extreme differences in height, like mountains or ravines? That seems like a likely place for the Sky Bandits hideout. Yes, that's what I've been thinking too. However, if that's the case, then we may be on the doing things. There's a possibility that their hideout may be in a place we can't reach by foot. Then, th then what can we do? Well, I hate to say it, but we may have to share our conclusion with the army and ask for their cooperation. Because they're the only ones with that they're the only ones with patrol ships. What? Now you're trying to tell us we should go crawling back to the army and their useless ass fucking captain? Either way, they can even find this mine. What a bunch of dumbasses. Either way, we can still have to report them to about the airline. Personally speaking, I think we should cooperate with the army whatever their attitude may be. Which is they're bad. Especially if that means bringing the hostage back to safety zone. I guess you're right. This isn't the time and place to be letting my personal feelings get the best of me. For the time being, let's get back to the guild and report their findings to Lou Grodd. We should be able to contact the Hawking Gate if we use the orbital telephone. Oh, yeah, telephones. Oh, yeah. I'm in this one here. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and we share it around. Thanks for watching. Golden one out.